Hi, George here. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to change the color of these gray buttons in here. The regular color and also that rollover color will change all of that, including the dressing room profile, the bill over here, all those things to a new color of your choice. Real easy to do. And it just requires making a new custom resource pack for that. Okay, let's go over to the desktop and let's see how it's done. Okay, here we are on my desktop. And the first thing you need is a place to build your resource pack in. And I just made a folder on my C drive. I named it Bedrock Packs. All you need is just an empty folder. Name it whatever you want to, it doesn't matter. And I have my own custom pack icon over here. I'll show you where you can get the regular pack icon if you want to. You don't have to use a custom one, but it's kind of nice to do that. And on this one, it's just a PNG file square at 128 by 128 pixels. Fairly easy to do that. In the background, there's just my base back there. There's my iron farm over there. I just had that as my desktop wallpaper. Okay, now the first thing we need in here is to get a copy of the vanilla resource pack. Let me bring that up. I'll show you where you can get that. And it's right here. I'll put this link in the description so you can just click on that and go right to this page. Now, ignore anything that says preview on it. Just scroll down. You want the one that says latest right there. That's the current one. And come down here, it says source code zip. That's what you want. Click on that and download that. And we'll put that into our working folder right there. Choose save. And that's taken care of. Okay, that's been downloaded. Let's go back to our folder. Here it is. Let's now open this up. And you want to open this up in a new window. So I'm going to right click on this and I'll open a new window. I'm using Windows 11 right now, but the same basic steps work on other versions of Windows as well. So open a new window. Reason for this is that I can then just drag and drop real easy this way. Okay, go inside of here. Come down, go inside of resource packs right there. And in here, you want one or maybe two things. You want this manifest.json, just drag that over. There we go. And if you don't want to use your own custom pack icon, there's a regular pack icon right here. That's just that dirt block thing. Okay, now let's go into textures. And in here, we'll be coming down here where it says UI, and we need some of the files in here. Now, you can't see what it is because we're inside of a zip and that doesn't show up here as a preview. But these are real small files, but that's what we're looking for. Now these go into the textures and UI folders. So I'll put this right up here and let's move those folders over in here. Click on new folder. First one is textures. Notice that that's lowercase. Let's go inside of this one. New folder inside of here. This one is just UI like that. Let's go inside of that folder. Okay, here's where our files go. Let's go back over here and you want the ones that are button files. So we'll just come in here, we'll just scroll down to get down to the button section. And here we go, they start right there with button border. Now we have JSON files and PNG files. You don't need the JSONs, all you need are the PNGs. And there are quite a few of these. Let's just go through here, I'll grab that one. Button border dark, button border light. Just open this up just a little bit here. Light bottom right, borderless dark, dark hover, dark pressed, dark pressed no hover. As you can see, a lot of these things in here, button borderless images, take that one. Here's button borderless light, take that one. Scroll down and light hover and light pressed. I'll show you what these are once we get this into a painting program. Light pressed hover. Now we have dark color, inside dark button purple right here. The button purple is the one that is used for realms. You wanna change that, go ahead and use this one. We're not changing realms, so I'm not gonna to touch that one. We'll take this one right down here, dark color PNG and inside dark PNG. Okay, so we also have in here purple right here, red, red pressed, trade, and some more red stuff. And here's your buy now buttons. So we have everything that we want right in here, these PNGs, just drag those over. There we go, we can now see these. These are real small images, just like that, real small. Again, if you want to change the color of the realms, that's right back down here, and that's the purple. But we're gonna leave that one alone. When I need to open these up in a paint program, it doesn't matter what program you use, but it should have the ability to work with transparency. So the regular Windows Paint will not work, but anything else will. You should be able to change your colors in that, and it has to be able to save to the .png file format. Again, almost anything can do that, so the program you use, that's up to you. I'll be doing these things inside of Photoshop Elements, which is my favorite program for doing this kind of editing but it does cost about a hundred bucks. So there are free options online. All right, let's go ahead and see how that's done. I'll close this down. We're done with this file. Everything we need is now here. 
Let's go ahead and open these things up in a painting program. And there we go. I have Photoshop elements open in the background. I'm just going to select all of these and just drag them in. That trick works with almost all your painting programs as well. Let these things open up. And there we go. And they're real small images. I'll just drag these out here, just kind of line them up. We're zoomed in pretty far on these. There's a rollover effects. That's what it looks like when you roll over a gray button, you get a green button. Be changing all of those things. This over here. Bring that one in here. Doesn't matter what order these are in. We're going to be giving them all the same color, basically. Okay, here's everything that I want to change. And what I want is a nice blue, kind of a nice medium blue. And I'll start with this one right here, the gray color inside. That's kind of your main button color. You can just paint in a new color if you want to, or you can come in and just change the color with overlays. That's what I like doing. Now, if you look at these things, these kind of come in sets. See here, here's like an upper left-hand corner. Here's a bottom right-hand corner. So these show the corners and the edges of your button. And the inside is filled with these things. Dark or light, depending upon if you're rolling over that or not. So you're not seeing the whole button. You're just seeing pieces of the button in all these different graphics. The easiest way is to do an overlay color on top of this and then use the exact same color settings for all your buttons. And then everything matches properly. Okay, inside of Photoshop Elements, I'll go up here. We can use Layer and come down to New Adjustment Layer. And I'll be using Hue and Saturation. Again, real common. Most programs have something like Hue Saturation. You could also use a folder filter if you want to. Or you could come in and do a solid color fill and then just change your transparency on that. That also works. I'll show you both those methods. So here's a Hue Saturation. If you're using this technique, make sure you colorize the image. You see right down here now has some color to it. Bring the saturation up and then adjust your hue where you want. Let's just find a nice blue, a little more saturation to that, something like that in there. That's kind of nice. And then just memorize your numbers over here. We'll be using those on all of the other buttons. I'm just going to write those down for myself right now. 212 and 93 and 0. Okay, I wrote that down in a little notepad. You know, close it down. So that one's now been colored. Let's say you want to use a fill color. You can do that. Just click on one of your images. Go up here to layer. I'll do a new fill layer. Solid color. It just puts a color on top of that one. And I'll find a nice blue color in here. Something about the same. Kind of like that. That's close. Be a little bit more purple into that. Like that. And then we can just change the opacity on this. So it's a see-through. And that can colorize your button that way. Or if you have blend modes in your program, you can come down here and just change the color. It does the same idea. So different ways of doing the same trick. I'll just use the same one here on all of these. And that's layer, adjustment layer, hue saturation. That's colorize. And then 212. And saturation at 93. So the same numbers here that I used down here. Don't worry if it looks different here. It's going to be correct. And then just go through and do all of these the same way. I'll do one more here. We'll then do a green one. So layer, adjustment layer, hue saturation, colorize, 212, and 93. There we go. And then for the ones that are color, same exact trick. I'll click on this one up here. Layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation, colorize, 212, and 93. The important thing here is that I'm using the same color for all of these. Okay. I'm now going to just pause the video for a minute. I'll go through, I'll change all the rest of these over into the blues. I'll then bring the video right back up again. Okay, almost done. There's one file that needs one additional step. That's this one right here, this kind of black square. This is the button dark color .png. This one is an index file, which means it's been saved as a PNG 8. Everything else was saved as a PNG 24. So we need to fix that before we can change our color in here. Again, most programs can easily do this. So I want to change the mode from index color to RGB color. Okay, then we can go ahead and change the color of that one as well. And colorize. And then 212 and 93. Okay, once we have all of these colorized, we now need to save these back out. And what I like doing is to first save these as a Photoshop file. And that can then go back and change my colors in the future if I want to. Just gives me some flexibility. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is save them back on top of themselves. And for that, go over here to File. I'll do Save As. And let's change this in here to the PNG file format right here. Choose Save and Replace. There we go. And that one's done. I'll do one more here. Let's do this one. 
File Save As, make sure that it's being saved as a PNG. Save and replace the existing one and OK, and that's done. OK, I'll go ahead now, go off camera, finish saving the rest of these, and we'll then come back up and build our resource pack. OK, those have all been saved. We can now close down the paint program and get back over to our folder. OK, they're all changed. You can see the blue right up there. So that one's now blue instead of gray. OK, it's back up here to our main folder. There's our textures. We have our pack icon. The last thing we need to do is to adjust the manifest.json file. It's just a text file. And I like using Notepad++, which is a free and easy to use code editing program. Open this one up. There we go, just basic code. And just a couple of things to do in here. When we have this description and name, these can all be the exact same thing. Let's just change this here. And I'll call it new buttons. Then I'll select that copy. And it's inside the quotations, and I can put the exact same thing right down here. Right click and paste. And right down here again. Right click and paste. There we go. And then we have these two UUID codes, one up here and one down here. We need to get special codes for those. And you can get those for free on a website. I'll bring that website up. And it's right here, the online UUID generator. You'll have a code to begin with right here. Click on copy. Let's go back over there to the manifest and select the code inside of the quotations. Don't get those quotation marks. Right click and paste. I'll get back here to the code generator. Click refresh right there and copy back over to the manifest. Again, select the code that's inside of the quotation. Right click and paste and then just save that. And that's now done. OK, we're now set. We can make our resource pack. We want the textures folder. Hold your control key down, get that manifest and the pack icon. That's all you need for it. Right click in this compressed to zip file. Don't use 7z, don't use RAR or TAR or anything else. Use zip. It's very important. And give it a name. Custom buttons works. And then click into the name like that. And then backspace where it says zip and make this say MC pack. And click outside here and choose yes. There we go. You should see the icon change. If you don't, just go into a folder, come back out again. You'll see that. Or hit the F5 key. It should refresh the window. And that resource pack is now done. Let's go ahead and load this into the game. That's real easy. Make sure your game is closed. And then double click on your MC pack. It's going to launch the game and import that new pack. There you go. Successfully imported new buttons. That is done. OK, let's now come down into settings. So we're changing this green and we're changing the gray. We didn't do the purple. OK, settings in here. Scroll down to global resources and my packs. You should see it at the top right here. Click on that and choose activate. You should see it say activated up there. You can double check by just opening up active. There it is. Okay, it's back out of here. It's going to load that in. And there we go. There's our new blue buttons. And there's that rollover effect right there working perfectly. It does dressing room. It does these profiles over here. If you go into the marketplace, you'll see in here the buttons have also changed. There's one right here, one over here, the ones at the bottom. All those have now changed into the color that we wanted when we changed our button colors. So that's how to easily change the colors of your buttons here inside of Minecraft Bedrock. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. That really helps out my channel a lot. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do subscribe. I do videos all the time on Minecraft, Minecraft Bedrock, and also on Roblox. And I'll see you next time.